like always, I'm running late on life again today. Kuba, I know you're barking because there's a doggy. I know. Um, so, as always, running late on life. Wearing this dress today because this is I want to wear for lavender by the bay. It's gonna look so cute, like all the lavenders. Lavenders, that's not a word. All the lavender, and then just like a cute little dress. I have like a, um, kind of like a jean, like a button down, but I like to use it to like tie around my waist or whatever, and it might get cold. I'll have that, because it's only supposed to be 80 degrees out there. Got my beach bag, two pairs of shoes, flip flops and like some other shoes to change into. Got two other outfits. One of them is like a jean shorts and a crop top. Just like high waisted jean shorts and a crop top, very simple. The other one is a star, black and white star skirt with, um, I also chose two tops, either a black crop top with that or my fleek shirt because I really like it and I don't have any photos in it and I think it's so cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what the plan is right now. And then on our way, I found like a place last night for breakfast. So on our way, um, as we leave Dom's house, we're gonna go look for some breakfast. I mean, I already found a place that I wanted to go to, so we'll probably just do that. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be like a good breakfast. I found, I wanted some place that has avocado toast. That was my goal with breakfast. Um, so yeah, that's my plan, guys. And I'm excited! We're gonna have a whole fun day. Dom last night texted me, he's like, I'm excited and happy. I'll get to spend the day with you tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited to spend the day with you too. Like, he's so sweet, guys. Oh my gosh. Head over heels. First stop already, the gas station. So we're just getting some gas. I had like a $2 scratch off ticket that I won so I just got went in there and I cashed it in and then I just got another one but then I lost so two dollars gone but um the lady inside she's like you have a very pretty dress and you're so beautiful I was like oh you're so sweet like when people like compliment like I will compliment people too like if I really like something I will compliment you and I feel like a lot of people don't compliment others, but I feel like if you like something, you should just say so. Like you never know how it's gonna make that person feel or like what that person's going through. And sometimes like just a compliment makes somebody so happy and it could like completely change their day. Like you never know. It's, it's crazy like the power of compliments. So I always urge you guys, if you guys like something, say something and tell people that you like their dress or tell people that you like their hair or whatever it is, tell them because you really honestly never know. And I'm sure when you get compliments, you guys are also like, oh my gosh, like that made me so happy or whatever. Like it could really just change your day. So we are out farther today because obviously we're on our way, way out east. But we are going to this place called Soul Brew. I just love the name of it. It also kind of sounds like Soul Cycle, but Witch's Brew, which is one of my favorite tea places, kind of mixed together. Yes, that's where we're going. Had the window open for a little bit because of the gasoline smell, and now my hair looks like crapola. Rise and grind. I got my coconut latte. I got hot with some whipped cream and shredded coconut. She's like, I'll just make it pretty and it does look good. And Babe got a banana foster iced latte. I'm also about to order some avo toast. We got our food. I got egg on top of my avocado toast today. It looks like a hard boiled egg. Still hot. And then Babe got banana pancakes to go with his banana iced coffee <laughs> and sausage on the side. Oh my god, what are you doing with the syrup? I'm putting it in between. In between, like a sandwich? Interesting. I like evenly distributing. Interesting. <laughs> well, I got my toast. Okay, guys, we just got to the lavender by the bay. Careful. Really? I don't want to get stung. So. A whole bunch of lavender. This side is a little dead, but we're gonna walk down there where it's so pretty looking. What I didn't realize about this place, guys, is that there's tons of bees around the lavender. I didn't think this through. This one's a good one. So it's like 
They even have leg rests. The, oh, those are cute chairs. <laughs> um, but like, I would love to get in there, but how am I supposed to get in there? There's tons of bees everywhere. There's signs telling you that there's bees. And I've never been stung before. I don't plan on getting stung today. And that, like right now, I've been going on Dom's back to carry me through the lavender in between. Cause this is just, well, scary. <laughs> I'm about to fall off this chair. This is the scariest thing ever, guys. I just did the scariest thing ever. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It was. Okay, so we went in there, but we got a really cute photo. So I can't wait for you guys to see that eventually on Instagram. Such a cute photo. I'll probably show you guys later, too. I was going to run through that for you guys, but there's so many bees, and one of them just like flew into my face. I didn't die. I didn't get stung. But that was scary. I've never been stung by a bee before, and I don't plan on starting now. But look at this, guys. Everything's literally so lavendery, so purple. Like, it just looks beautiful. So pretty. All right, guys, we just got to Orient Beach State Park, um, which is nice because they take the Empire Pass. I got this. So before they used to do a sticker on the car, now they do like a card so I could pretty much use it wherever I go and I don't need to be in my car alone which is so much better and I was actually considering getting the lifetime pass for that reason which is so much more money but for that reason I wanted to get it because I could just use it on any car and not have to do just like on one car um, so we got our like ticket for the day and yeah it's good we've used it a couple of times now and like before when I normally got this I only used it for the beach that I used to go to but now it's like now with babe we just travel a whole bunch of places and we go on adventures and we've used my past like a couple of Twice. times a couple of times but Twice. we've gotten gotten some use out of it <laughs> it's come in handy um so we tried to go to the lighthouse but it was closed whoa what am i what am i looking at is that what kayaks you want to go kayaking is that what you're pointing to maybe maybe <laughs> are you scared a little bit. <laughs> That'd be fun. We should do kayaking. Oh my God. I have my bathing suit with me in the back seat. No one else's bathing suits on. Oh, well, I guess they don't, but I could put on a bathing suit. I don't mind. I brought one for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so like I said, we're at Orient Beach State Park. Apparently, Dom just told me that this is the very, 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 very tip of Long Island on the North North Shore, so you really can't go any further. We're North Fork. North Fork. We are surrounded by water right now, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're surrounded by water, and yeah. Buoys? Buoys for sale. You want some? No. <laughs> I can find you what if, you, gonna do if you if you flip in the water in the kayak, I'll be able to come find you. All right. <laughs> save you. You'd be in the same one as me, so you're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're but, falling in with me. But I'm good in water. I don't get scared. I'm not afraid. I just don't like it. I guess I'm afraid. Yeah, you are afraid. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we've been driving and driving and driving forever, guys. Oh, oh, we're finally getting to a parking lot. But we've literally been driving like on a really, really long road, just like curves and stuff. And yeah. I think I guess we just made it because parking okay guys we're gonna go kayaking now I got my phone I can't take you guys because you guys are unfortunately not waterproof oh my god did I scratch the camera oh my god I cracked the screen Woo! don't know how I did that um, but we are gonna go kayaking we're gonna have lots of fun I'll try to vlog a little bit on here don't know how much I'll do but we will see we'll definitely take photos but I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys. Every time I pick my paddle up. We're I'm kayaking. Just, I'm just getting soaked. Because <laughs> you're not paddling right. How the hell are you supposed to paddle? <laughs> Every single time. You are so wet right now? Wet. <laughs> so babe doesn't know how to paddle. First time kayaking. Every time he paddles. Oh I see your legs are soaked. <laughs> soaked. Looks like I peed my pants. <laughs> we just been going around in circles here. <laughs> That was so funny. We just got off here. The to run and oh, there's more path. water this way. We just also found like a really nice shell. Really? Oh. Nice Some more, more water this way. We're like surrounded by water yeah. right now. We just came to like this little island. We literally came from all the way yeah, so you can make another, down like, there. Upstairs and so okay, guys, we are kayaking. 
Dave's over there on the phone. He somehow has service. Yeah. We are surrounded by water this way. I'm not sure if any of that footage was good from kayaking, but we had fun. Babe was pretty good at it. Pretty, pretty good. I was pretty the good. best. <laughs> you were pretty good, but you were also in the back, so you had like the most control over the thing. I think you were a little confused. Your destination in the beginning. is on the left. In the beginning, with like right actually goes left and left goes right. Did you get that? No, part? you were just canceling me out. I was canceling you out. <laughs> I was teaching you. So we're going to this place, Country Corner Cafe, for some lunch because it's 2.30, or actually no, it's 3.11 now. Oh, and we is hungry. Don't know what to do. I changed outfits. This is my new outfit. Gotta, gotta change outfits. For Where'd you get changed? Clothes. In the back seat. <laughs> and what happened? There were people that kept pulling up like near us and we kept moving the car so I could change in peace. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at this country corner cafe. Um, the only thing like vegetarian on here is this, which is a healthy veggie burger. But I really don't want a burger. So then I guess the second thing is like turkey avocado panini. It still has like um, cold cuts, but for some reason I feel like that's better than like having chicken or something I'm not really sure but like fresh avocado tomato basil pesto and the ciabatta roll like sounds really good so maybe we'll just do that I'm not sure if anything I could go with that but that's pretty standard I don't think that's gonna fill me up so much I don't know this does also sound good don't know what to do guys just flipping flopping here so far Babe got a mango smoothie and mango and cream smoothie. I got a pina colada and cream. I hope it's good. It looks more coconutty, which I love. Okie dokie, guys. I am going back home now. I am so happy with how the day turned out. Our photos like came out so cute. And I'm so happy about that. Like, I want to frame one of those. I like I want to blow it up and put it on a canvas. I think it's that cute, the one in the lavender fields where we were actually in focus. I think it's so freaking adorable I love it so much um, also I also love that Dom wanted to try kayaking he's afraid of the water he doesn't normally go in pools and especially like oceans and kind of like things like that so it was like calmer water so you know it's kind of okay but not really like he was still scared you know it's a big body of water and whatever so he doesn't normally do that kind of stuff, but he wanted to try kayaking. He knows that I would like it, and I, I do love kayaking. Um, so he wanted to try it, and I'm so proud of him that he did, because he actually ended up liking it. He was like, wow, this is a great workout. It's actually a lot of fun, and I'm so happy that he actually enjoyed it. So um, I'm really happy about that. Like, it's like, it's, you know, relationships are all about, like, trying new things and going on adventures together and getting to know each other and stuff but he knows that I like kayaking and he was trying a new thing and he was trying kayaking because he's never done it before and he was actually really good at it surprisingly <laughs> um, I was like really surprised he was pretty good at it he didn't want to listen to me when I told him like you know if you paddle left it goes right if you paddle right it goes left um, he wanted to figure out on his own which is understandable but at the same time I'm like I'm trying to help you <laughs> But it was still like really good and we had like a really good time and I'm just like I'm so happy that he liked it because that's like something I really like to do and I'm so happy that he actually enjoyed it. So we had a really good time. Um, we got back uh, recently we said bye and we were thinking of like going to see a movie later like we both just want to shower because after kayaking the water was so salty we, we literally have like white all over like our bodies like just from like the splashing of the kayak in the water we have like white from the salt all over like our bodies and we're just like we both want to just shower so he's showering at home i'm going home and i'm gonna shower and then um i don't know what i'm doing after that but we also want to plan out what we're going to do tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're possibly going to Montauk, which is even a little bit of a farther drive. He originally was like, oh, we could just like stay out there and not have to drive. But it's like, I don't want to pay $400 a night. And I know he doesn't mind, but I'm not like that with money. Like to me, it's like literally it's a two hour drive. I might as well just come back home and go back out. Like it doesn't make sense to me to pay like $400 for a night. Yeah, it'd be nice. And yeah, we'd get more time to spend together, but I 
know that he's also wants to buy a house and he's saving for a house or you know he's currently in the process of looking for a house and I know that I want to buy a house so it's just like I want to also save the money even though he wouldn't ask me to pay for that but it's just like I also want him to be able to save money like I, I'm not the type of girlfriend to like eat up all your money like I'm not I probably I'm like the cheapest kind of girlfriend he's always like damn you're like a cheap date because like I'm happy with like just spending time together and going out to like brunch or whatever and not even like going out all the time like I don't need fancy dinners and he apparently used to do that with people and I'm like no I don't want a $200 dinner like no like maybe once a year on our anniversary fine but to just do it randomly no <laughs> like I am not that type of person like I'm a little bit different with money than he is um so we, I, so we came back today and we're thinking of just driving back out tomorrow, but it's like we were in like the North Shore today. Tomorrow will be like in the South Shore and farther out east even because it's Montauk. It's like, so today we were like the farthest point of the North Shore, North Shore of the island. Tomorrow we will be like the farthest point of the South Shore of the island and that part like goes out farther. Um, so we'll be, I want to see the Montauk Lighthouse. He also wants to see it. And then we just want to like plan out what else we're going to do out there tomorrow because it is like a two hour something drive. We need to pretty much figure out our day. Like today we wanted to see the lighthouse today too. We had a plan but I didn't realize that they were closed today. So we just did the beach and kayaking and we did um, the lavender by the bay. But we, we didn't get to do the other thing because it was closed. So then tomorrow we just need to like figure out like a game plan. Like what are we going to do? We're going to drive out there for two hours. We'll do the lighthouse. But that's not going to be all day. So what are we going to do after that? Where are we going to eat? Like you know like just kind of like have a game plan um, for tomorrow. And kind of figure that out. So I got to do that when I get home. But I had a really 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 good day with my babe. Oh, he's amazing. And I'm so happy with him. And... I love that we get to spend time together and that he wants to spend time with me and that we always just have a good time no matter what we're doing. I love it. Okie dokie guys, it's about 11.45, almost midnight. I gotta be up pretty early again tomorrow because we're doing Montauk and we're driving out there. I just finished making a whole list of like what our itinerary is, like um, what we're doing for breakfast and stuff and for stopping and getting oh my god I forgot to ask babe if we're eating breakfast at home and I think we're just stopping for coffee and then coffee and donuts over like the two and a half hour ride then we're going to the Mont House lighthouse and then we're doing lunch and then we're going to a park and then we have like other activities to do if we get bored and then we have like some other park and it's just like it's like a whole bunch of stuff and a whole bunch of thing of activities we found like where we want to eat and things but um it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm so, 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 so excited for tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow's next daily vlog. Bye.